the Steelers have benched Martavis Bryant for the game against the Lions. Stephen A., what impact will Martavis not playing have on this game against Detroit? Well, what it's going to do is allow us to find out about Juju uh, uh, Smith-Schuster and what he's beat. made of. Yeah, that's right, because here's the deal. The reality is clear. You got Martavis Bryant. We know, we believe that he's better than this rookie out of USC, even though this kid's got a lot of problems. The issue is, is that now that you don't have Martavis Bryant out on the field as a decoy, imagine how bad it's going to look for the Steelers if they lose this game because you didn't have to go to this extreme measure of putting him on, on a daggone scouting squad or what have you. The Lions, we're going to find out about them too. I'm picking the Steelers to win this game on the road because they're my team, and I don't believe in the Lions. But you never know in Detroit. Look, I'm not watching all 22 video. Like, I'm not watching coaches film and breaking it down for the Steelers. And Bryant, so Martavis Bryant's already the number three guy on the depth chart. That's why he's complaining. He's not getting targeted. But I presume, as Stephen A. said, he's a decoy at least, right? He can take the lid off a of defense. you got to account for him. And Le'Veon Bell should be the beneficiary of that. But against an up-and-down team this year, a Detroit team that's been up and down but has been up, I think we're going to find out just what – Marta or start to get some evidence about Martavis Bryant's value in terms of being that decoy when even he does when he doesn't have the numbers it still has a positive effect on the offense certainly we all assumed that last year let's see this week just hand bell the rock